South Sudan International Freight and Warehousing Association. Sifua has directed the six agents authorized by the National Revenue Authority Customs Division to clear South Sudan cargo from Nairobi freight terminal to lower the rate of transporting goods into the country. The association's secretary general, Adao Kual Byung, met the directives during a press conference in Nairobi after touring Mombasa port and auto ports Nairobi freight terminal facilities recently. We now appeal to all road transporters and those who are involved in the clearance of goods along the northern corridor to adjust the old charge rates for transportation from around $5,000 for the 40 feet container and $3,600 for the 20 feet container to a lower rate now that the distance has been shortened by close to a thousand kilometers opposed to before or contrary to before 2,000 kilometers from Mombasa to Nairobi. The general manager of Autoports Freight Terminal, Salim Juma, clarified that South Sudan importers are charged once when their cargo arrives in Nairobi. There is no customer who can purport to show you an invoice where he has been overcharged. The customer has one invoice only, where KPA charges are there and the rail freight are there. There is no extra cost for handling by NFT. Trader Mario Malong welcomes the agreement between the governments of the two countries directing all cargo destined for South Sudan to be cleared in Nairobi in the state of Mombasa. We want them to continue to support uh, initiatives that uh, brings the cargo for South Sudan as closer as possible. Long distance truck drivers said the new facility has relieved them from the heavy congestion along Mombasa Nairobi Road. I'm happy because I'm out of that jam from Mombasa to Nairobi. Zaman can fi jam, pizza hama, lagayat malaba, talata yom, arpa yom, asa, bigatlena yom wahid lagayat malaba. Alyom atan and hana vi numle. The manager of Dafkid Enterprise Limited, Ruben Nukes, said the transition in handling South Sudan cargo from the port of Mombasa to Nairobi means clearing agents will have to deal with one officer and CFS management. Only deal with one problem instead of with seven or eight problems. We will only deal with one officer instead of seven or eight officers. We will only deal with one uh, CFS management instead of dealing with seven or eight CFS management in their own problems. So this is the main relief that we got. Based on the agreement between the governments of Kenya and South Sudan, the NRA Customs Division requested full facilitation of the delivery of South Sudan cargo through NFT. Authorities here at the Kenya Freight Terminal has clarified that they only charge importers once their goods arrived here in Nairobi. For SSBC, I'm Emmanuel Patrick, Nairobi, Kenya.